anytime, any place. When? Anyone, anytime, any place. Where? Anyone, anytime, any place. One, two, three. When? In 2019, I was a 17 year old high school kid who had just created my website, ipickwins.com, dedicated to my passion for sports. Sports are back, and that means Mystic Zach is back. I predicted that would happen, and that's exactly what happened. Mahomes is going to find a way to get it done. I see him orchestrating a late game winning two minute drill to win the game. My first interview was with the two time heavyweight champion, Shannon Briggs. After we finished, the champ explained he was training Logan Paul and invited me to the camp. I was impressed with how serious Logan was taking his boxing career, but blown away by the hard work and dedication of Jake Paul. Jake didn't even have a fight schedule, but there he was, day after day, training, running, sparring, and sacrificing. Jake was a natural fighter with natural power. He loved to spar. He loved to compete. Let's go! We did it! Let's go! Just seeing the amount of this effort and the time he put into it, he went on. He has the mentality that he just wanted to go on and destroy people. I picked Jake just because of his work ethic and his determination to prove that he is a fighter and not just a YouTube star. It hit me two years ago. They were sleeping on Jake. I would later meet up with Jake and his new trainer Shane Mosley and BJ Flores in Miami when they were preparing for his pro debut. He added defense and skills to the fire and power. In Jake's dressing room on fight night, I break a first round KO. This fight might not go past the first. Most thought the fight would go rounds. Again, they were sleeping on Jake. First round destruction! Jake Flores took over as head trainer. And I personally know that the work he's doing is like any traditional uh, professional fight camp. And Jake's skills were getting even sharper. Tim clocks in every day. He comes in with a very focused, very determined mindset and does everything I ask for. So uh, I, I can't complain. He works that side. Things we say, we see it the next day and training in after we see it. We talk about it and he really is committed to learning. I joined Jake and BJ in California and Vegas for the training camp leading up to the fight with Nate Robinson on Triller. Again, I picked Jake by early KO, only to hear again and again how he'd never beat a professional athlete. This kid is not playing around with this sport. Like a lot of the elite will probably take him on, but they say, oh, he's a punk, let's go with it, and then he'll end up upsetting some guys. After his concussive knockout of Nate Robinson, I thought they'd get the idea that Jake wasn't a YouTuber who boxed, but a boxer with real power who was a danger to any opponent. You know, I mean, if he takes on an actual fighter and beats him, you at least have to give him the respect of calling him a boxer. Jake's now finishing up his camp, preparing for his first main event and his first bout against an experienced combat professional, Ben Askren. His skills are probably as advanced as most pro boxers that have been in the sport since they were maybe 10 and had one or 200 amateur fights. You would not know the difference between a well-seasoned amateur turned pro versus Jake Paul. You wouldn't know the difference. The talk now is Jake's never been in deep water. Jake's never beat a real pro fighter. Well, after being in all three camps with Jake, I think I'm qualified to say, Jake Paul can be Ben Askren's worst nightmare. It's not how, it's when. I think I think one or two. One or two, I don't think Ben Askren's gonna make so it. So first six minutes, yeah. Ben Askren's out. So for Ben's sake, he better not sleep on better Jake. Jake, you know what? You better do this. You own this. Don't sleep on Jake. <laughs>